Right here we have one of our older model microtorch cells built into a uh, PVC electrical box. And the uh, bubbler, which is a filter canister. Um, this one in particular is good to about 120 PSI. So it's good for all size torches or many size torches. Um, inside you can see the bubbles from the gas. Right here you have the actual flame from the torch. And we were burning some brick with it. This torch is um, connected via a an older version of our H-Flow flashback arrestor. Here the torch is cutting a piece of steel. Here we're showing the output of the cell. This is roughly two liters per minute. Here we've attached an air stone to the output. You can see we're running at about four and a half amps at 120 volts. Here we're showing the output through the torch needle. And a view inside the cell, which is a, I believe it was a 14 plate series cell, operating at about 2.9 to 3 amps in this picture. We're now increasing the amperage. So we got it running at about 3.6 amps. Here's a view of the power supply. There's a 600 watt light dimmer and a 400 volt bridge rectifier. We're turning up the amperage to about 4.3 amps, which is about which is about 500 watts at 120 volts. Here's one of our later model cells. There are about 24 cell chambers on this unit. This was a prototype unit. It runs off 120 volts as well. We're running it at about 4 amps for a total of about roughly 500 watts. And this cell would put out about between 5 and 6 liters per minute. We don't have video of the torch that we built using this cell, but um, future videos will show that device.